Hello, my darling. Yeah, I finally came back. My summer holidays are over, and it's time to get back to roots, to get back to you and discuss with you musical news, musical releases, and open new artists that deserve more attention from us. So I'm so happy to be with you again. This is Send You's Log. I'm Jenny. Let's start the show right now. I want to start this season with mind-blowing news from Ukraine, but it's going to be interesting for everybody. The University of Culture in Kiev launched the first ever faculty of TikTok. So uh, the students should be creative, interesting, and follow all TikTok trends. Yeah, it's obvious. Yeah, everybody who works in this social media environment should be creative and make up new trends. I guess. Um, for me, right now, it looks like a joke. Like, I wanna see the program. I wanna uh, see. Mm, you know uh, the subjects I want to see the professors who are gonna study new generation of tiktokers and what they're gonna do actually and what will happen with them after the graduation uh, because I guess they're gonna just have fun for four or five years and then nothing like nothing some people just need boost or they need discipline or something like that and there they won't have it at all maybe will but you have to know that this university doesn't have very good reputation the majority of students actually seen or dance behind uh, the head of the university they have fun and this is the end mm, you know nothing educational i guess uh that's why it can be really tricky tricky thing but i want to know would you like to study in this university would you like to study in this faculty to be a future tiktoker and uh, do you have some i don't know schools special schools um, i mean universities for faculties for this TikTok craft. Share in the comments. If some people want to live in the social media world, become influencers, create, you know, tons of content, Lana Del Rey quits social media. She announced it recently and sounded like this. I just wanted to let you know that tomorrow we are going to be deactivating my social media account and that is simply because I have so many other interests and other jobs I'm doing that require privacy and transparency. I really understand why Lana did it, because um, recently she faced uh, a lot of um, you know, criticism, a lot of negative comments from people about her vision of life, about her attitude to different communities. And I guess it was like the last drop. Um, the latest thing that I remember, she was accused of uh, not putting people of color on the cover of her new album. And she said like, these are my friends and I have friends uh, of different races so on this cover just my closest friends but people started to accuse her oh, because of it and I just understand how like you are talking to the idiot sometimes because you just uh, uh, accused for your friendship with different people why these people are dictating you what to do in this life and I guess uh, it's like the best decision that she made because you know people of culture are really sensitive and it's just 
maybe destructing, destroying their lives. But these commentators, they don't get it and just enjoy it. These haters, I, I don't know who are they. The monsters, really, monsters of uh, the 21st century. That's why if Lana is happy, I'm happy for her. Keep moving, girl, and drop new music. Okay. The last two weeks were really exciting and I guess lucky for Lil Nas X and the biggest achievement is the release of his first ever album called Monterno. By the way, some of songs got really good you know results they got awards for instance the video of Monterno got the video of the year by VMA and the director was a Ukrainian girl Tanya Munio we are so proud of you Tanya keep doing it and make us proud more so getting back to Monterno you know the promo program uh, was really really exciting you were like watching tv series because um lil nasix was a pregnant boy and he was you know sharing with us the details of his pregnancy and even gave birth online yeah but uh what i liked it's uh, that the album has very good collaborations with quite famous people like Elton John, Miley Cyrus, Doja Cat, Megan Thee Stallion and Jack Harlow. So my favorite song is with Miley, quite sensitive and touching. I don't know, I just found it really beautiful in comparison just to other presented songs. But there is also one really cool thing that Lil Nas Six did. He created a baby register where fans can donate to non-profit organizations dedicated to each track. You can see on the screen all, all this list of these organizations and I guess it's a really cool, you know, step just not to you know share the music but to change the world for better um i i can't say that i'm i'm a huge fan of Lil Nas Six, but i like to see what's going on because he's provocating the audience you're always thinking hmm what's going on so now we are watching junior 2021 yeah what's the next what he's gonna do like I don't know. That's why he is interesting right now and he is raising really um, the most important social questions. That's why it's not just music, it's music, um, you know, with the message. And it's really, really important nowadays. So listen to the new album and tell me what is your favorite track from that. Unexpectedly, the group Placebo dropped new song, first for the five years. It's called uh, Beautiful James and it has all these typical parts of Placebo, you know, this psychedelic sounds of piano and guitars and this unique voice of Brian Malcolm. But the feud between you know the fans old fans and modern fans continues the first one said that um, placebo died in 2006 and there is nothing new and so awful horrible i you know wouldn't agree with them because um you know it's not like banger or a hit new interpretation of placebo new wave something like that but no it's a good song and i recommend you just to listen to it and enjoy it and then 
come here and write down the comment, okay? My track of the week is something greater by beautiful Australian group called Parcels. Yeah, if you have never heard about them, please fix it because they are really, really good, good guys. You know, I really like the song, I really like the video. It's stylish, it's beautiful, it's charming, it's chic, so please watch this story and you know this the message of song also you know exciting i i just adore what they do maybe they are not highly popular but again uh, they deserve more attention from us because their music is really really good okay another news very very good news they gonna drop new album and it's gonna happen on the 5th of november so only like a month and a half left for this so i'm so happy and i really highly recommend you to listen to them because 20 new tracks are coming and then you will get you know a lot to a lot to listen to so just don't delay it do it right now and tell me did you like it do you like this type of music oh it's just not for you i was thinking a lot about the fresh face for this episode and then i just caught the sign like something about ukraine in this section something about ukraine in this section then why not uh, include uh, something about fresh faces from ukraine then please welcome the group the rock group the unsleeping from ukraine i found them for the first time in 2000 19, I guess, because uh, they won uh, um, the election to perform uh, at Sigit European stage, and it was, I don't know, breakthrough for them, huge push, um, because nobody knew about them, like, who are they and the guys uh, playing rock music in English? Like, no, it's not Ukrainian style at all. You just have to know that it's really hard to be a new um, Ukrainian artist, yeah? But it's harder to be a rock Ukrainian artist who plays, uh, you know, music in English. Completely, it's like almost impossible. Radio stations, uh, you know, don't accept accept here and it's like <sighs> challenging but they did it um i want to tell you you know funny story back to 2014 the guys decided decided to shoot the video and have forgotten about one member who was living in another city and maybe they were just focused on this uh you know shooting process and just missed him didn't include him and yeah of course he was disappointed and sweat a lot but you know sometimes it happens yeah <gasps> so in so between 2014 and 2018 um they were not making music they were studying at the universities but thanks god something happened i don't know some inspiration or what and then in 2019 they released their first EP um, called DV8 and this is so good even for now this is really so good then see it happen to them but you know I understand that it's really hard for them such music but I wish they were more productive more active more you know motivated to their aim to be popular because actually they have everything 
for being, you know, famous not only in Ukraine but also outside. They're singing in English, their music is really interesting and not like, you know, something that you heard. No, they're really unique and they need this push from us. Um, that's why I decided just to pick them and share some information about uh, them. I hope it will change. I recommend you to listen to their Ukrainian and their English songs. You know, they're all really, really cool. And I hope, really hope that in the future we will get more music from the unsleeping now just show your you know interest to them yeah and please share with me did you like them do you like such type of music and what do you think about you know musicians from ukraine okay guys so that's it for today you see time flies and i'm really happy to get back to you i missed it i missed you and i hope that you will support um, you know my vlog my videos please don't forget to subscribe comment and just share this video love you so hard see you next week bye bye